What is going on, guys? Welcome to episode 17 in my 10-season challenge in Football Manager 2017. So, here we're going to have a massive game. It's going to be a massive challenge against Manchester United. Uh, but as you can see from our results, we've won every single game of the season now. And, well, before I got to this point today, because we haven't played our games, it's top of the table challenge. It was, but uh, you can see Watford, they were able able to uh, get their win and they've got 10 points now so uh, big game nonetheless against Manchester United and also of course guys if you are enjoying this series please leave a thumbs up on the video it really helps the series out uh, but as you can see uh, we played Liverpool that was in uh, the first uh, that was the first episode of the season uh, in the previous one. Um, good result for us, but we've really continued that. You can see Leicester, we beat them 4-2 away from home. Uh, you see Sane scoring, uh, Piazza, Hoiberg, and also Rojo. But unfortunately, Hoiberg, he picked up a suspension, got a red card, so he's missing uh, for a few games. Uh, Colchester, we were able to beat them 2-0. And then Burnley just now, 1-0. But take a look at that dominance, 68% of possession. They only had one shot on target. We had 12 on target, almost 30 in total, and six clear-cut chances. Absolute dominance by us, but there still has been a bit more of transfers. So uh, the few that did happen uh, was Jack Stevens. He went to Watford for $12 million. I thought that was a decent deal considering, yeah, um, He's one that didn't even contribute last season. Um, obviously, he was out on loan, though, at Celtic. Uh, he didn't get too bad average ratings, I won't lie. We've got uh, better defenders ahead of him, though. And then also, Alex McCarthy, he wanted to leave because we don't use him. Uh, so we just promoted one of the goalkeepers in the reserves. And then also, Matthew Target. Everton signed him for $14 million. I think we got a decent amount. Like, he seems similar ratings-wise to Jack Stevens. I'm surprised Everton would sign him. Uh, they make some interesting signings. Uh, some players are, oh, they're great, but then uh, they sign a player that may just be good enough for a team that's in the relegation zone, or if not in the championship. So, yeah, sometimes Everton, I'll, I'll show you for just to explain uh, what I mean. For example, their key player, um, Guai, he's, yeah, very, very good. But, yeah, interesting, <laughs> they make... If we go to their transfers, actually, in terms of the players that actually brought in, they signed some nice... Like, Zay Gomez, he is very, very good. He's one of the best talents in Football Manager 2017. Uh, but, yeah, I don't want to waste too much time on Everton. Uh, so let's go back to the player we actually brought in. And I notice a few of you guys said we need one more centre-back. Because, you know, if we get an injury or something, we need to rotate a bit more. Uh, we need another good centre-back. So I was able to sign Gustavo Gomez uh, from AC Milan, who he actually did fairly well at uh, both seasons there. Good average ratings. And in the social feed, like the Twitter version of Football Manager in the game, like the three different messages were all like disappointing ones that he's going to be leaving. <laughs> One was like, um, oh, I can't remember now, but they were just like really disappointed in terms of like I can't I, I can't have faith in you anymore it's just <laughs> something like that or no you're dead to me you're dead to me let me know if you've seen that one you're dead to me uh, about one of the players when they leave or when there's rumor about them leaving but Manchester United versus Southampton this is a massive game I'm gonna try and win this even though it is away from home we're playing amazing football uh, the way we are maybe hard to try and control the game maybe you might think yeah we'll have to see tactically but I want to see how the first 15 20 minutes go uh, we just got a uh, yeah, see, then maybe we'll make some changes. But this is the starting 11 to get into it with a uh, very good team. I'm um, really liking the look of Southampton now. So we will go into the match. And oh, this is so massive. We'll go top of the league if we win here. That's how crazy it is. <laughs> so they got Anthony Martial up top, Mikitarian, Juan Mata, Pogba. Ooh, Matic is in there, Sergio Roberto, uh, Luke Shaw, De Vry, Phil Jones, Mariana. So, yeah, they've made some signings, obviously. Uh, ooh, Marcus Rashford, Fred both have injuries. So got to be uh, mindful if they come on, but opposition instructions applied uh, by default. And then, yeah, we owe Manchester United after what happened last time. So... Yeah, just a decent team talk there. Don't want to overdo it with the individual uh, positions. But 
Come on, guys. Let's see. Oh, let's just see how we go. Like I said, first maybe 15 minutes or so, if we look like getting a goal or not. We, we'll just have to see. And also, someone noticed Millwall in the Premier League. They would have got consecutive promotions so absolutely yeah credit to them you can see he finished uh, first in the first season in league one and then yeah last season finished second in championship so yeah it's pretty cool to see that uh, i'm not saying i'm a mule fan or anything just it's it's interesting uh, in the game uh, they're a very good team or well, they're doing well they're on the up and martial and they score in the first uh, 37 seconds so that is a bit of a disappointment like i'm just building up this hype to it and then yeah they score with their first chance in the first 30 seconds or so which is oh just <laughs> i feel all the energy i was building up is just gone now damn and they've got a corner here mikatarian oh come on one Mata. Oh, that's annoying, though, conceding with the first chance they had. Come on. One Mata. Come on, defend. That's good, but of course, it'll go straight to their player. Sergio Roberto. Come on. Don't tell me they're going to score a second now. That, it's One Mata. Come on. Come on. <sighs> Lucky. Lucky. I was about to <laughs> get mad. Okay. Whew. Come on, guys. We're defending these early chances. Well, apart from the first one. <laughs> oh no, this is this is not going to end well, I, I can tell. But anyway, Bertrand makes a good tackle. Can something come from... Why do you do that? Okay, oh, they start with possession again. I can just tell dominance. They're just too good. One Mata, it's so early in the game, but it feels like it's over now. So, oh man. Well, I, can, I can only do so much in terms of getting hyped up. <laughs> before the match starts and then yeah when it gets underway i say we'll see how maybe the first 15 20 minutes go uh, well they've got the goals already so oh my god are they that good they must be like we've been playing amazing football in the style we have and suddenly we don't anymore because manchester united has some better like in comparison is their team that much better ah we don't even stand a chance, so what am I doing this for? Fuck. Man. 3-0. 3-0. What can I say? Just the ball over the top. Like, what is... What is going on? Wow. Okay, can we get one goal back? I'm not sure my players were asleep for the first 30 minutes. Sane! Come on, get a goal! Just to lighten up this game of, from our point of view. Obviously, away from home uh, against one of the best teams, if not the best, uh, in the Premier League. Yeah. Oh, my. No, it can't be four. It can't be four nil already. It's 36 fucking minutes in. No, Martial. I, see, I can't get mad at Manchester United players because I support Manchester United. So it's like, <laughs> if it was another team, maybe I'd get close to insulting them. But <laughs> yeah, it's it's weird because uh, they're just too good for us. Absolutely amazing team. Um, great players. But like, yeah, what can we do? We go from playing amazing football to this. Uh, is it just because they're better? It must be. Uh, uh, I just said we owe we owe them, but it doesn't look like we want to be getting revenge. That was terrible. I'm going to be honest. Like, d just to show you how good we've been playing, I know it was Burnley and even Leicester away from home who have been doing fairly well. We really controlled the game with a better team, so I thought, well, I guess I'll know better next time, but terrible to see, man. Terrible. Okay, let's see if we can get a consolation goal, because we're not going to come back from 4-0. It's been done before in real life, but it's it's not. I, you can't see it happening. Tielemans, Sane. If we are, it's going to have to be a goal here, but instead they give away the ball. Well done. Gomez. Well, I'm not going to blame him in his first game, but uh, maybe I should if he can't pass accurately. Come on. I feel like I'm more close to insulting my players. Sandro. Ramu. Can we have something to celebrate? Telemann. See, we have good players, man. Sane. That's what I thought. I thought we would be able to compete with them here. Cedric. Come on. Yes. We score a goal. What a relief. 
<laughs> it's probably not going to change the end result to the game. We're still going to take the L, which I think is... I don't know why I said that, because I absolutely hate that. When people just say L, it's just like some immature thing uh, 12-year-olds will say. But fuck. <laughs> Seriously. Ugh. I didn't even know what to do at this point. We scored a goal, but do I just leave it? Like, because these are our best players... I don't feel I have someone to come on. Maybe I bring Austin sometimes when Sandro hasn't done so well. But in terms of the wingers, like uh, Piazza, like he's so good compared... Uh, do we bring on Tadic? I just... I don't feel as confident. But if you take a look at the ratings and condition, um, I probably will need to make that change. And yeah, we go on attack there. And that's the only change really for now. But... I don't want to waste too much time in this video, like, making changes, because, yeah, yeah, we're not going to get anything from this game. Well, there is a highlight. If this is a goal here, 20 minutes, and then, yeah, we need two goals, that can happen. But also, they could potentially score another goal, but Bertrand... Oh, that was your chance to steal it away. You had the chance, and then they almost scored. Well, Tadic, no. Yeah, guys, I'm not really going to make another change. It can't be bothered because we're not going to... Yeah, we're not going to get the result here. Okay. If anything, Manchester United will score another goal. Sigurdsson. Sandro. Come on, Sandro. He gets past. Sandro! What a goal from Sandro! We're going to lose this game, but he scores the best of the day. No doubt about that from Sandro. Take a, He had two to get past, and he... Who's Jones? Well... Yeah, Phil Jones is shit. Um, uh, Luke Shaw, a bit better. But, <laughs> oh, that was a good goal, though. How about, okay, there's a slight hope. It, it's slight, but uh, who can we bring on? I'm think, because uh, Sigurdsson, yeah, because he's conditioned, but I think, yeah, he could maybe score a free kick or something. Got to think about the type of players they are. Bertrand... Let's bring on Baba Rahman, because Bertrand, yeah, he hasn't had a good game, and hopefully he can come on uh, with some pace. Uh, we'll go on attack. Same for Cedric as well. Might as well uh, go for that. Still, uh, we remain a bit of balance uh, between that, but yeah, Baba, at least it's been an exciting game. We were terrible in the first half. We just, early chances they had, they took them, and... I'll tell you, they were the better team. I, like, again, I'm not complaining about this result or anything like that because usually people think that whenever I get mad, but <laughs> just like any time I get frustrated at the game. But, yeah, it's, just, it's been an exciting game, 100%, but Manchester United have been too good for me here. <laughs> they have been too good. They were the better team, 100%. We do not deserve to win this game. Definitely, just... Putting it clearly out there. <laughs> uh, but it was entertaining still. It was entertaining. Hopefully you guys thought it was as well. Sandro. Mikatar, just just end the game now. End the pain. 4-2. It could have looked worse. Like 4-2 if you look at the result as a whole. not to, We won the second half. How about... I'll take that. We won the second half. We don't really get anything for it. We still won it though. Um, I'm not sure we can... I don't want to say I'm pleased. I'm far from... No way. The second half was good. Yes, we came off. We, it, it was a terrible start to the game. Look, they had four goals by the 36th minute. So, what we can say is we didn't let him score in the second half. And we scored two. And Sandro, yeah, credit his performance. I guess if there is a positive, we've got to look at it. We, we were the better team in the second half. We won the second half 2-0, <laughs> essentially. But there we go, guys. After that result, we get our first loss of the season, and we're sitting in third. But as a whole, been a good start to the season. I think oh, it's going to be hard to say we could finish top four and get in Champions League because the teams like Manchester United are going to be very, very tough to beat, you can see. But I feel like every other team, apart from a team that's known as a top four team, so like the likes of Arsenal, Manchester City, Chelsea, uh, Tottenham, <laughs> all of those, uh, but 
apart from those, we sh- I, I, I want to be expecting to beat every single other team. And if we do that, we'll win every single other game for the season and maybe, yeah, snag a win against someone like a Liverpool at home if you talk about the bigger teams. Uh, but, yeah, like, we just got to see how the season goes. Really, we will end up probably dropping points against some mid-table team in just, yeah, we have a bad game. So... If I win the majority of those games, though, I do think we can finish top four. And the style we've been playing, you know, the quality of football we've been playing, I think we can do that. But, guys, yeah, for now, I'm just going to leave it where I play one game in an episode and uh, I round up everything uh, recently that's happening like I did with the transfers uh, so we can just focus on that. So the episodes don't get too long as well and there's still information, uh, good information within it. So, yeah, guys, oh, in terms, see, I don't try to be entertained, like, my reactions come naturally, but, um, yeah, guys, I think my, like, interest, like, I got a comment recently, like, someone saying, I don't watch your football manager videos anymore because you're boring. I don't feel this video could have been more exciting. We lost the game, but, yeah, like, I feel like all my energy is gone. I, I did as much as I can in terms of, uh, my reactions uh, to it, just, yeah, giving giving it my all. So, yeah, guys, I try my best for these videos. If you could leave a thumbs up on the video, that will be greatly appreciated uh, if you think it's worth that, of course. But I hope you did enjoy it, and I'll see you guys next time.